Hey guys, Fox here and welcome back to my collection inspection. Today we are playing another Brick in the Mall um, because I happen to like these kinds of games a lot. Now I have seen a couple YouTubers play this I think. I don't know how much I'm going to like it, but this is my style of game. So we're going to do it. We are definitely going to do normal. Are there, what are scenarios? Okay, I should know how to play before I do anything. <laughs> Let's figure that part out first. All right, hello and welcome. You have somehow inherited this massive land. Regional planning, however, forbids residential or industrial zoning in the area. Commercial is your only option. Let's have a look at, around. Use WASD or arrow keys to pan the camera. Alternatively, hold the mouse wheel button. I mean, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. You can also use T and G to zoom in and out. Ooh, okay. But if I go like this, oh, hold the mouse wheel button. I know what I'm doing, shut up. Okay, good. This short tutorial will walk you through opening your first business. Let's get started. We need to build the foundations first. Go into build mode and select foundations. Okay. Order your workers to build foundations by clicking and dragging over the designated area. Perfect, now we need to wait for the foundations to be finished before we can build further. You can speed up time with the fast forward button. In, ow, hiccup. Do I only have one worker? That seems dumb. Are you gonna be like, eh, build another worker? You don't build workers. I mean, unless you're a robot or a geneticist. Is this really the fastest you Oh, I have two workers. My cats are yelling at me. It's gonna be a great morning. I picked three kind of dumb games, but uh, not dumb like dumb, but like, you know, now my light is always in the way. Okay, door. Oh no, staff door. Staff door. And then double door. My favorite, favorite game is, not like favorite, favorite, but like a game that I absolutely love playing is Prison Architect. So this is like exactly the type of game that I like. So I am excited to play this sort of game, even if it's not like the greatest, it's what I like to do. Uh, walls, objects, food shelf, is that what I'm doing? What is this? Food shelf. Okay. Food shelf. Food shelf. Food shelf. Food shelf. Food shelf. Food shelf. And regular shelf. Regular shelf. Regular shelf. Build a checkout counter. I feel like this could be a little bit more. Again, but then the, uh, um, what's it called? Prison architect's menu system sucks, so. I'm not at all surprised that they can't figure out a better way of doing this. Like, even Sims doesn't have a great way. Okay, um, I need products. Go into select and right click on your shelves. Set product for shelf, select a subcategory and select a product. Try not to sell the same product twice for now. Okay, this is gonna be rice and pasta. This is going to be sauces and seasonings. This is going to be breakfast cereal. This will be um, pet food. This will be juices. And then this will be a canned food. This is gonna be household goods, tools, materials, toys and games, school supplies, sports balls, <laughs> school supplies. You can be um, cookware and you can be toilet paper, <laughs> I guess. Okay, build a loading zone. Loading zone. 
We need to link our storage with our store. Go to manage. Look, I've played a lot of games like this. What am I doing? I've played a lot of games like this. Um, click on what? Go to manage, select your store. Oh, select the store link storage. Last thing before we can open. In manage mode, select your store in the list. Okay. Click on staff, hire, cashier. Mm. You have the best speed for cashiering, so you. And then we need a stock clerk. Speed, patient, sociability, stock clerk. 25, 21, 23, okay, you. Objective complete. Build a trash can. What was that? I was saying something before I went off on a tangent. Um, I've done games like this before. And they always give you a lot right up front. And so I feel like I know what I'm doing, but I also am prepared to be overwhelmed. Oh my god. Uh, garbage pickup. And now we need to hire a janitor. Um, manage, maintenance center, janitor. Janitor doesn't really need to be sociable. Uh, janitor, you have 31, you have 32, and you have 28. Lucky you. Good, that's taken care of. At the moment, we can only sell a small selection of products. We build, we need to build an office to research new products, businesses, and technologies. Foundation. Foundation. Nice, now let's wait for that to be finished. Cool, I'm gonna drink my smoothie. Okay. Um, build, right, we need doors. Staff door. Oh, here comes my cat. Hold on. Ray Ray, now is not the time. Um, office desk. Office desk. Now we go into a sign. Click in, and select office. Okay. Now hire two office workers. Um, you have a good office work. And then hire another one. Mid, what are you? 28, 18, 27. You. All things seem to be in order, except for the cat hair in my mouth. Here are some tips for a smooth expansion. Keep your builders busy. Your parking lot will fill up very quickly. Build more customer parking to accommodate more visitors. The default store opening hours are unambitious. Manage your store to open earlier and close later. You will also need to hire cashiers to work those hours. Offering a greater diversity of products will attract a lot more customers. Research products to unlock highly sought products such as fresh food, clothes, or alcohol. Open specialty stores to demand to satisfy demand for rare and expensive products. Finally, having non-retail businesses will make your customers stay on site and spend a whole lot more. Research and build restaurants, bowling alleys, and movie theaters to be the number one destination for nearby shoppers. Thank you for following this tutorial. You're on your way. Tooltips and notifications are your friends. Let's fill this wild land with concrete and capitalism. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as summer vacation ends, families buy new clothes and equipment in anticipation of the new school year. It starts in five days. Okay, I have school supplies. Um... Hold on. There's a lot happening right now. Cold chain. I'm not researching sales monitoring, security, logistics, bowling, fitness. Let's buy oh, electronics. Unlocks laptops. Let's. Yeah. Right? Oh my god. I'm already overwhelmed. Okay. You're gonna work. Do you do that? Pause. Pausing. Pause, please. Um, 
how do I want to go about this? I guess I could build a anti-theft detector. I don't have that unlocked yet. I have food court, cafe table. <laughs> really? Ash is screaming at me. Movie projector, bowling lane. I should build a toilet. That's a good idea. Okay, um, but let's build foundation first. No, shouldn't do that. Cost $95,000. How much do I have? Make a little smaller. That seems like a good idea. Um. Okay, let's just let that be built. Can I buy another? Hold on. I need, I'm so overwhelmed already. I got office workers. Are they here? Are they doing things? We'll come to work in 11 hours. Great. Maintenance. I have. We'll come to work in nine hours. We'll come to work in 14 hours. Working. Great. Can I have another builder that's like working now? Hire. Working. 14 hours, 11 hours, 9 hours. Okay, hold on. Oh, I don't like that they only work at certain times. <laughs> That's so annoying. Okay, hold on. Let's just do what we're going to do. What are these little things? Uh, open a drugstore, open a pharmacy, and a movie theater. Okay. This is gonna go so poorly. How do I, how do I close? There we go. Okay, but I am gonna need a staff door here. And I want a double door here. Are there just no lights in this building? Can I put a fridge like right here? I don't think I can actually put anything in the fridge yet, but I can sell bottled water in the fridge. Okay, um, first things first. I would like to have a restroom area, like, right here, maybe, but we're gonna need walls, unfortunately. <laughs> Can't just pee in the open. Um, And then put a door here. Okay, work on that. And then I want a toilet cubicle. How do I rotate? How, that's how. Okay. Bathroom. Objective complete, sell 10 different types of products. I didn't realize I did, but yay. Oh my God, okay, slow down. Um, how's my research going? Have I researched clothing yet? No. Oh, this is gonna take a while. Okay. Do I have windows of any sort? Can I like, hold on. I'm a little zoomed in here, aren't I? Whatever. 
That's because I keep leaning in. Oh, an ATM sounds like a good idea. How did I rotate? ATM. Like, should I be spending my money on all this? Probably not. But I am. Here's a bench. Cool. One way swing gate. What is that for? Oh, like you can go in one way, but you come out. Okay, I get you. Um. Pallet. Checkout counter. Order counter. Clothing rack. Okay, so I've at least done that. I'm gonna. Wall. This is gonna be like a thing. And then. If I go like that. Right? And then I can. Make this like a store. I guess. I'm a little faster than that. And I want to put clothing racks in here. And table. Fridge. Oh my god, shelf. Okay. Uh, like that. And then let's put a trash can next to the ATM. I need a door for here though door and then uh order count no checkout counter rotate like that okay Oh, right, I need to assign what this is. This is a store. Do I have to specify that it's a clothing store? Or can it just be a store? It's just a, st it's a store. Store. Okay. I can make a security set. I can make a food court. We're not going to deal with that right now. Oh my god, hold on. What? Anti-theft tags, patrols, products. Oh my god, there's so much happening. Okay. Um, manage. Store. Link storage. You can be open a little bit longer than that. Staff. I'm gonna hire a cashier. You hire stock clerk. You okay? Cashier, but my, how my store is open eight to eighteen. I guess we'll just go eight to sixteen for right now. What is sixteen? Isn't that four? No. 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, that's four o'clock. That's really early. <laughs> Hold on. Eight to 10. And staff, my cashier, you are gonna work eight to 16. No, you're gonna work eight to four, eight to 13. I'm gonna hire another cashier who's gonna work 13 to 20. So you're 22, you're 22, 22, 30, 22, 57, 22, 93. Okay, you. Now you're gonna work 13 to 20. Yes? You're working seven hours. Let me do, you're gonna do, no. 
14 to 20, so that's six hours, and then you're gonna do six hours. So you're each getting six hours. Okay. We're working on it. Um, can other like windows? Decoration? Window. Outdoor light. Okay, but I want window. Window? No, windows don't exist. Okay. Does that make sense? Probably should have made the store a little bit bigger, but that's fine. How is my research going? Horribly. This is... <laughs> okay. Let's just... Let it do a thing. I'm, I'm just gonna keep building stuff. Do I have fast food re restaurants yet? No, I have storage and I have a store. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a problem. Because you manage. Store one only has one cashier. Um, so we need another one. Right? You're gonna start tomorrow. What what is your time frame? Hold on. So this store is open from nine to seventeen. It's open from eight to twenty. Um, and you're going to do 8 to 14, and you're going to do 14 to 20, yeah? Good. And I guess you just, just come in when you need to come in. Um, all right, we have juices, canned food, school supplies, cookware, pet food, toilet paper, rice and pasta, breakfast cereals, sauces and seasonings, bottled water. Yeah, cool. Um, research is moving along and now we just wait. Look at how poorly that guy parked. Like, excuse me, sir, you're not even in the line. Oh, uh, hold on. I need more parking. <laughs> How do I make parking? Build road work. I want staff only parking to be right here. And then customer parking. Yeah. See, look. Can I make this go a little bit farther too? And then more customer parking. Look at all of that. Okay, 
manage. Stick. Uh, you. So you're gonna go to 16, and you're gonna start at 6, or you're gonna start at 12. So you're both working 8 hours, 8 to 16, and then 12 to 20. So there's going to be a crossover, right? Um, can we change out... I think I need to make this bigger. Hold on. Build. Foundation. Let's make this store a little bigger. Right? And then we're gonna move these and assign, I want this to continue to be part of that store. And then we need to build some objects. Why does this feel like it's so... <sighs> More food shelf? And then more fridge. I guess. I probably should have more checkout, but like, that's just true to life, you know? Whenever you go to a store, there's never anything to check out. Or there's never enough people at the checkout place. Um. Okay. So, you're gonna have sliced bread. You're gonna have coffee and tea. You're gonna have candy. And more juices. What are you gonna have? Greeting cards. Let's do board games. You can have pads and tampons. See, look, it's going fantastic. <laughs> it's not going fantastic. Let's delete you. Um, no, oh my god, oh, hold on. They want drugstore, pharmacy, movie theater. Okay, I'm working on it. Yeah, I don't need no more customers right now. Uh, fast food, liquor store, grocery store. I know. Check out user full. Look, I'm learning. Bakery. Does this not count as a grocery store? It has like a oh, ton of groceries in it. I don't have restaurants yet. I'm almost done with clothing. And then we'll do restaurants. Maybe, where are restaurants? How do I unlock restaurants? Oh, I have to unlock cold chain. No, continue doing clothing supplier because I need this to be ready in a day and two hours for back to school. So, being a business owner is stressful. I don't even own a business, I own a mall. You know what I need? I need more office space. That way I can have more um, people researching. No, you're all one office. There you go. Manage the office. Hire office worker. You. But you're gonna need 
an office desk. Uh, and hopefully that will speed up. Yeah. Let me hire one more. You. Are we done yet? Come on. Give me that solid hundred. So I can research something else. Come on. Oh, they all went home. No, but tomorrow. Okay. I need an office worker. Like you. But your work time. What time is it? 19. You're going to start at 20. I don't, hold on, yeah, do that, so, come in and research please, thanks, there we go, okay, research menu, now we're gonna research cold chain, but, now I can put clothing items on here, so, t-shirts, Pants, dresses, regular shirts, um, clothing, men's shoes, women's shoes, and underwear, I guess? Sure. That's probably not going to be enough for the rush that's going to happen, but we'll deal with it. Yeah? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. We'll get there. We get there and we get there. <sighs> I wish the fast went a little faster. Okay. Um, video game store. I can't research that quickly. You need to give me time. Can I fit another? This is just you guys being able to see my, like, thought process behind what I'm doing. Yeah. But that means I'm going to need another, um cashier you come in when you feel like it hold on do i have a uh you i do i do have a stock clerk you have storage Oh, I didn't finish that part. But you're not stalking it right now. What are you doing? Where's my stalker for this one?
at home. No, you're coming to work. What time is it? 15? Come to work immediately. Thank you. I don't know why my other stalker didn't do that. Okay, we have a functioning clothing store. I almost called that a grocery store. It's not what that is. Um, I need more staff parking. And I need more, oh my God. This is you guys just watching my brain just short circuit on itself. There's nothing funny about this. This is literally just me struggling. <laughs> it's just a struggle. Um, let's do a little bit more staff only parking. And then some more customer parking, I guess. It took me a while playing prison architect to fully understand um, and properly, oh, yay. Like figure out my way of playing, like the way that made the most sense for me to like manage it. So I'm gonna have you be an afternoon janitor. like clean up after work. But it took me a while for me to fully under or, um, figure out how I wanted to do Prison Architect and like how that worked. Um, so it's definitely a thing that's gonna be, Jesus, 500 troll sales. Oh my God. Stop, please. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to speak and I can't speak. It's definitely going to be one of those things where it's going to take me time to figure out the system that works best for what I want to do and how I want to set it up and understanding the best process for doing all of that. Um, so I guess... What's demand? I need sales monitoring. Let's make a coffee shop. I guess. Twenty different products. All right. Well, I'm gonna just go for a little bit and then um, see if what I can come up with. So I'll see you in a couple minutes. For you, it won't be a couple minutes for you to be like that. But for me, I'm just going to finagle. I'm going to stop it here. Um, I've been playing this on my own for about 20 minutes, give or take. Um, it's a process. I'm figuring it out. I added more. I unlocked bus stops. Now there's bus stops. I added more parking, more staff parking. Um, we have a bigger storage area i created a liquor store i added a little food court area and i made a coffee shop um and then i just unlocked night hours so now my coffee shop can open up earlier in the morning i also added i think actually no I think that's it and then i think i added some plants randomly um but we're gonna save this here this is something that i will definitely play on my own in my free time and like figure it out for myself but I feel like there's just way too much um to fully process I was gonna say this early in the morning I guess that's early for me it's 12.05 it's it's noon um but given the fact that I typically end up going to bed at like five in the morning this is early for me and it's taking all of my brain power to figure out how to navigate this and what I really wish there was, and there might be, 
Um, and I'm just too stupid to find it. The thing that I like most about Prison Architect is that there's a plan that you can do. So before I, whenever I'm playing the sandbox in Prison Architect, before I actually build anything, I go through and I plan out the entirety of it. Now the downside to that is that once you hit build, you have to build everything. And so if you're not playing in sandbox, if you're not playing with a big enough funding, um, you're not going to be able to build all of that. And that's frustrating. You can get failure conditions, but I always turn failure conditions off. Um, but this doesn't have like a pre-build that I can find um, or a planet. So it's hard to navigate how big things need to be in order to accommodate what's going to go in them. And I wish I had a way of plotting my layout first before committing to it, but there isn't an option for that. And I think that would have made it a little bit easier for me because I like to see what it's going to look like before I dive in. That way I can edit and change anything that needs to be edited or changed. Um, but yeah, so I don't even know how to save this here. Yeah, save game, sure, and then quit to main menu, quit. So, um, this has been, oh, is that mine in the background? It is mine. This has been another brick in the mall. This is definitely a game that I will play on my own. Uh, there also wasn't a way to make like paths that I could find. Um, I think there's a lot good to this game. I think it is, I think it needs a little bit more, um, a little more organization um i think it needs pathways and i would love to have a pre-build uh a pre-planning way that i can see what i'm gonna build before i build it but this is definitely one of those games that i'm going to play for a bit to see how i can best make my mall uh and so if you are like me and you have put too many hours <laughs> into games like prison architect i think you will enjoy this game um, i know it's been out for a while so if you haven't played it already Go play it. It's can't hurt, you know? And the good thing about games like this is you can just keep playing them over and over and find new ways to do it and cause chaos. Thank you for joining me and uh, for my collection inspection today, looking at another brick in the mall. If you like the game, it'll be linked in the description below. If you like the video, feel free to give it a like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends if you feel so inclined. Um, I've been Fox and I will see you in the next game that we inspect. Bye.